Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and I have my Galaxy S4 beside me. Yes, I am working on the in-depth hour-long review of this guy, and as I've been doing that, I've been finding things that I like and things that I don't like, and one of the things that I've been very compelled to talk about today is the fact that this phone has kind of an extreme lack of storage. For the Galaxy S4, the version that is readily available comes in 16 gigabytes, now, that sounds great, right? You're like, yeah, that's 16 gigabytes. I totally have enough room to install all my applications. I even have room to take pictures and some video. Plus, I have an SD card slot, so I'm, I'm set. I don't need the 32 gig version or the 64 gig version. But actually, sorry, Charlie, it's uh, not that simple at this particular moment because when everything is said and done, there's only nine gigabytes available about nine gigabytes available for you guys to install applications onto. So applications are getting huge these days. Need for Speed, Most Wanted, it's one of my favorite games. It is two gigabytes in size. So imagine that, you have nine gigabytes, you take away two, you've got seven gigabytes, you install another application that's around two gigabytes and you're just losing space so quickly and that's before doing anything else. I really miss the days of gingerbread when I could still install applications onto the SD card, but Google has kind of made that a little bit impossible. So there's actually an application that makes this process easy. You can't install applications onto this SD card here, but what you can do is take all those game files and move them onto the SD card. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And it's for the people who are not so tech savvy. This is a good application, but it's not the best application that I have seen. It's kind of quirky in some ways, but let's go check it out nonetheless, and hopefully I can save you some space on your phone! People have done all kinds of crazy things to try to get apps to install onto the SD card. They've done things like trying to trick the SD card to being the internal storage of the phone and having the internal storage of the phone being tricked to be as the SD card so it's swapped. We've had people installing custom ROMs. It's just been a mess of things and it's not been easy, honestly. Applications like apps to SD card don't work anymore for moving apps to SD card. You end up getting an error that says this. The device does not have a real primary external storage or the primary external storage is emulated. Basically, with ICS, Google took away the ability to use the external SD card as an internal memory partition of the phone. The phone used to recognize it as part of the system of the phone so that applications could install onto it. And now it's just considered an external SD card and can no longer be used for that purpose. Google taking this feature away has pissed a lot of people off because people really valued taking their phone and plugging it in into their computer and having that SD card be separated from the phone and then readable on the computer so they could transfer files onto it. And that was called USB mass storage. Yeah, you don't have that now either. But the problem was that the external SD card was still part of the system and you had applications that were trying to access information on it. And since it was mounted onto your computer and you were transferring files onto it, your phone could no longer access that part of memory. And it just, that really wasn't so smart. So they took that ability away and it became one solid piece of memory. There are no separate partitions now. It is just one partition. All you have now is a file system that is inside of this one partition that the phone is reading as an internal SD card. And we call that an emulated external storage. What we can use now is GL to SD or Gameloft to SD card. So you can move Gameloft games onto SD card and you can also move other things that are quite large onto your SD card as well. So it does not have to be exclusively Gameloft games. Now keep in mind that your phone does have to be rooted to do this. So you need to at least muster the strength to be able to figure out how to root your phone. I'm going to be including the resources down below in the description so that you can root your Galaxy S4. It doesn't matter whether it's the Exynos version or the Snapdragon version or a carrier version, you should be able to root your phone just fine. Upon entering this application, you see that there's a list here and this says choose game. So these are things that I have actually taken the data from and moved it onto the SD card. If you hit the menu button, you can say move data and you're presented with a list. And you can find several different applications. If you find one that's particularly large, you can go ahead and select it and hit move and it should move it for you. NFS, for example, is EA. It is not Gameloft. So up above here, you have mount and unmount. Actually, I think it might be better to draw this out so I can explain it better. Let's move this guy aside. So, just say that this is your phone and you installed Need for Speed onto it. And there is a directory with all this stuff in it that's taking up 1.9 gigabytes and you're like, well, what can I do about that? 
So what this application does is when you say move application, it's going to take this directory, leaving it empty, although the directory still remains there, it moves it now onto your SD card where you now have that same exact directory. When you hit the mount button on your phone, it now takes this directory and plops it right back on top of that old directory that's just sitting there empty. When you go to run the game, need for speed, the system sees, oh, it's still there, and then executes it, and that is essentially how it works. So let's do just that, shall we? Let's go ahead and hit the menu button. You can see that it says move data. When we see move data, I was showing you that you could see the 1.9 gigabytes that was taking up all this space on my phone. Go ahead and select it and say move. And since it's a lot of data, it's going to take a little bit of time. So at this current moment, you can see that available space on my phone is 4.05 gigabytes. Now after this finishes moving onto my SD card, let's see what it says. Okay, that took more time than I bargained for, but let's go ahead and check underneath settings here. You can see underneath my storage, it says now 5.99 gigabytes available. Congratulations to me. So you can see that this is very effective in terms of clearing up storage on your phone. I'm going to go ahead and now launch this. The one thing that you always have to do is that you need to hit mount. That way it actually does this process that I'm showing you and it takes this directory that is now placed onto your SD card that I had moved and it now mounts it on top of the old directory that is sitting there empty. So don't forget to hit the mount button or all this magic doesn't work. Then once you've hit mount you can either launch the game right from here or you can go ahead and just simply click on your launcher. Eh, eh, see, it works, it's loading, it's just fine. If the game is unmounted from here, you can still just go ahead and hit open on here because if you launch it from inside of this application, it mounts it automatically for you. The major downfall of this application is that if you do not have mount selected inside of this application and you uninstall Need for Speed, then you end up keeping this directory that you've created on your external SD card. It won't get rid of it for you. And then you might end up having to go into the system and try to find it. And then sometimes you might not notice and you might feel, oh no, there's space that's missing on my card and I don't understand why. Well, that's because you tried uninstalling the application without making sure it was mounted first. That way it knew what it was uninstalling. I consider that to be a major issue with the program. This is something that the developer should have just programmed into it so that it just leaves seamlessly nothing behind. Because I don't expect people to be able to know where to go to navigate into the phone. If you'd like to know by any chance, if you go under My Files, All Files, SD Card Memory, you can see that there is a directory called OBB and a directory that's called Data. Under Data, you can see that it says NFS 13 underscore NA. That is Need for Speed. If you get stuck with this data on your SD card, you just need to select it and throw it into the trash can. Otherwise, if you go into device storage, you see it says emulated zero. I go all the way down under Android. You can go under data again, and there is NFS here. And what's interesting is that if you select it, it's gonna say details. You can see it says 1.9 gigabytes, and that's because it has now mounted this directory on top of this one. But if I hit unmount, this is going to say zero kilobytes. So that's kind of cool that you can do that. But it's not cool that the developer didn't make sure that you can uninstall the program easily. And also, I was pretty insulted to find that not only can you not uninstall programs, but you can't take your original program that you had moved onto your SD card and have that directory moved back onto your phone. What nonsense is that? So inside of settings, you can see the SD card path. You can choose your language. In this case, it's auto. It's just going with what the system has. You can customize your mount folder, which can be really nice if you want to customize that. You've got a selection for unmount when connected to USB. You can unmount upon exit. And this is the one thing inside the application that you actually have to purchase. That's why it says pro version. This is mount at boot. So just say that you shut down the phone. It's going to go ahead and mount everything again so that if you don't want to go into the application to launch the game from there, you can just select it from the launcher. So that becomes really nice. That's also nice if you forget at any point. It has it mounted for you. So if you were just to go and uninstall the game, you're not going to get stuck with that directory on your SD card. And you've got some memory saver settings such as clear cache when starting game and high priority to run the game, although I don't really find that too necessary. 
Then you have Recover Game List. Now this is something that is more or less a little bit pointless. Just say that I didn't want to see this in the list anymore. I can remove it. It did not uninstall it. You cannot uninstall games from this application. That's another thing that I'd really love to see implemented into this application. Instead, if you go back into Settings and hit Recover, you're going to see that the list is reloading and anything that I had removed is now back. So overall, I think that this application is a really good option, although I think it would have been really nice if there could have been some type of implementation to easily remove the game. If you were to uninstall it, it should just uninstall it. No matter what, it should not leave those directories on your SD card taking up a huge amount of space. And also, it should really include a feature that lets you uninstall applications from inside of this app. But otherwise, this is really nice for now. So this has been Erica the Technology Nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will have this review out as soon as I possibly can. I've just been, like you see, exploring a lot of things so that I can make sure to give you the most relevant and pertinent information. So have a wonderful evening. Good night!